So in this video, we're going to talk about forward PE ratio, and that is basically the future price to earnings per share. And this metric uses future estimates, which is obviously not going to be as reliable as the typical PE, which is a trailing PE that's using the last year's earnings. And so it's really, really important to point out that when we talk about last year's earnings, we're not just talking about the past 12 months. It can also mean the fiscal year. And that doesn't always mean that it's the last four quarters and it doesn't mean that it starts on January 1st and ends on December 31st. For example, the US federal government uses a fiscal year that starts on October 1st and ends September 30th. And so all of this is to say is that the regular PE, it is based on past performance and it's typically more accurate. Sure, you can fudge up the numbers. People do cook the books, simmer the books and kind of exaggerate certain numbers using generally accepted accounting principles, but the PE ratio it's a pretty accurate figure whereas when you're talking about analysts and guidance into the future it's typically all over the map but a forward PE ratio can be useful when doing stock analysis now some analysts they will completely tarnish and destroy the reputation of forward PEs they'll say they never pay attention to them but I think it is important especially when comparing the forward PE to the trailing PE you can get some insights into your potential investment now remember, forecasts, they're always subjective and they can be highly unreliable. Like I said, analysts are usually all over the map and even if this guidance is coming from the company itself, it doesn't mean that it's very accurate. There's a couple of things that companies are known to do. One of them is sandbagging. So I know that sandbagging sounds like some weird fetish, but sandbagging is something that a lot of companies engage in. And that is when they go and they kind of undervalue what the earnings are going to be. They go ahead and they give you kind of low ball estimate because they want to come out and then beat those estimates because that's when the stock tends to go higher. So they want to provide low estimate and low guidance and then they're going to report earnings that are greater than anticipated and usually they know about this beforehand and the reason they do it is because if they're consistently growing if you just meet your expectations or you miss expectations the stock typically tanks but if you beat expectations after earnings the stock does have a pop and investors are relieved now conversely a company tends to sometimes over exaggerate their earnings and this is because maybe this quarter they're going to be reporting bad earnings but during the earnings call they're going to over exaggerate the earnings that are going to come in they're going to say okay i know we didn't do too well this quarter but look next quarter we're expecting to do this this and that and then they kind of try to quietly later adjust the expectations prior to releasing the earnings now obviously that loses the trust of the investor but a lot of people they don't follow it too closely and that's why it's really important when using a forward pe and trying to weigh like how much you're going to value it in your assessment process you have to go and take a look at the history of a company and see if they do have a history of over exaggerating or sandbagging future earnings because if they do have a reputation for that that's something to take into account and maybe not weigh the forward pe too much if it's coming from the actual guidance of a company and i wouldn't recommend ever taking forward pe as gospel or putting too much faith into it especially if it's coming from analysts that are always all over the board if you take a look at what analysts are predicting for tesla's stock price over the next year it's ridiculous. It's such a wide range. I might as well ask my cat what the price is going to be. So you do have to take this into account. Always take forward PE with a grain of salt. So while it may be helpful to compare the forward PE of your company to another company in the same sector, a lot of time analysts, they like to compare the current PE or trailing PE to the forward PE. And if earnings per share is expected to grow for a company, then obviously the PE is going to go down in the future. And that's a good thing. So if forward PE is lower than current PE. That means that earnings per share are going to grow. What you don't really want to see is that forward PE is going to be higher than the the trailing PE and remember they're using current price they're not using a future price they're just using a future earnings per share in order to get that metric so it's current price over earnings per share and also I want you to be mindful that when you're reading about forward PE 
make sure that they're talking about the next 12 months or the next fiscal year because sometimes there's these ridiculous figures for a five-year forward PE. And I actually even hear about analysts that I respect talk about these figures. I see some YouTubers talk about these figures and I think it's absolutely reckless and ridiculous. Like a five-year forward PE, no one knows what's going to happen. No one knows the competitive landscape. Like some industries, they change so rapidly. The world is an ever-evolving beast. The stock market's insane. No one predicted all this stuff just in the past year. The pandemic, the ships, the supply chain issues we're having, the chip shortage, Reddit. I mean, people don't expect these things to come. It just happens with time. But that being said, people really frown when people are forecasting things. But I think that's silly too. I think you should listen to the past and listen to analysts' predictions in the future because you are speculating. If you're invested in something, you're holding it or you're going to invest now, you're typically doing that speculating into the future. And so I wouldn't just completely not pay attention to forward PE, but if you do pay attention to it, make sure that it's in context and you've done research on the company. Make sure the company has accurate predictions that they're not sandbagging and also they're not over exaggerating. And if they are, then adjust that forward PE accordingly. So hopefully now after watching this video, if someone ever asks you about forward PE or if you're reading an article or you're reading analyst estimates, you will totally understand exactly what they're talking about. So if this video helped you out, please help me out. Leave a like, leave a comment, share it with a friend, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys watching. Much more tutorials coming up. Please mention in the comments which stock you want me to cover, which options trading strategy, which crypto. I mean, I do it all on this channel. I'm going to continue. The channel's been growing nicely, and I have no one to thank but you guys for that. So I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.